no sense. But you know what does make sense? This match right here, because we gotta, we gotta, we gotta have the sword, the sword that goes zoop zoop, and we gotta have the rob that goes boop boop. This, this is the match that you guys have been waiting for. I am so sorry, because we're just gonna see Carflow swinging that dang sword and swinging it real good, so that we can see Bill at 43% and off stage and trying to get back on stage to just do the damage. Hold Listen. on a second, that was so smart. Did you see that? I this matchup, the way that Carflo had been playing earlier on in the tournament, it's, you know, when we put the opponent at the ledge, we trap them, get all the damage, just rinse, recycle, repeat, no way out. And right there, Dil did this extremely careful movement in order to bait out his option, got on stage and started dishing out the damage herself. Fortunately, uh, Carflo managed to get control back and one jab back air at those higher percents, yeah, that's gonna be it. That was very quick. I'm gonna be completely honest. How long? We've only been in this game for a minute. Hello? I mean, so, I, so I is, just, that, is that what we on? We're already past the six. We not we, we not on demon time no more. I don't know. Ooh, I feel like right now Carflo is really respecting Dill's space. Maybe too. I'm not gonna say too much because the risk of not respecting the space is what you see happen there. Uh, but nonetheless, I, there is an aggressive streak, you know, to Carflow and his play that we just have. Oh, sorry, but, but, didn't run. Um, that we uh, that we have not really been seeing in the uh, latter stage of this game. I mean, but for sure, and this is kind of the thing. I also don't feel like Carflow is actually abusing a lot of the space that comes with playing this matchup. We've seen a lot of time from time to time again with, um, you know, Zamba and um, Cola, sorry, that a lot of the time it almost feels suffocating to play this matchup, which is very understandable because you have Roy, who's a very fast character, can teleport in a matter of seconds to just get where you are. And I feel like, although Carplo is in a very winning position right now, I feel like he could definitely utilize a lot more situations where he is taking advantage of, um, you know, stage, making sure that Dill can't get back to stage. And it's just kind of been happening all the time. Like right there is just allowing Dill to get back to stage for free. Oh, these, man, there are so many instances here where it's like just pixels or frames away from the proper hits connecting. But that's going to leave Dill alive at this juncture at least. And <gasps> oh, what a God. forward air! Sniped the jump along with it, and that's that. I mean, okay, oh, well, yep, clean, we evens go. it up. That was actually a massive pickup. If if uh, Carflow was not able to take that stock immediately, we would have seen Dill run away with a lead. So, uh, but now it's a dead even game between these two. Absolutely, and I feel like definitely Dill could be utilizing a little bit more of the. Oh, 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 never oh, mind. Business. No, shut me up, please. That was alive, but just barely. Can't take another one of those for sure, and not even touched Dill yet. Zero percent, uh, no throw will guarantee the kill, but up tilt, up air is enough to do it. Not she, guaranteed, but Stein finds it nonetheless. She, she really shut me up. You know what that was? That was a zero to death. She, uh, did, she did not take any percent. Look at this. Yeah. yeah, that was a zero to death. That It wasn't the sort of, you know, it wasn't like the Gatsby style of Zero to Death where it takes no, but... place over five seconds. No, it was just careful, calculated, perfect play for about a minute straight. And that's what happened. She ate. Stop. Left no crumbs. The crumbs? I, I can't find them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't um, know. That's just, that's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. that, she kind of did. I, I don't know. Anyways, we have to go back to Samashaville. I, I didn't know he was going here, but I guess this is the counter pick of Carplo. I don't know what Carplo really wants to do, but this is a very small stage. This is definitely understandable because yeah. he definitely wants to have a little bit less space for Dildo Run 2. Yeah, and I think it's the sort of... I, 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 we actually were not seeing Town and City. Normally, I know that's a stage that a lot of boys like because of the smaller blast that's on the side, but doesn't want to have to deal with that much room on the stage. Oh, that saves the jump really smart, oh. but recovers a little bit high. Still scouted out a mile away and was perfectly that down. Air managing to create a massive lead here. This is going to be rough for Carflow moving forward. Absolutely, and I'm going to be completely honest. The, the thing that kind of like got Carflow actually killed 
that last game was his overextension. A lot of the times he would just run in and Dil would just grab him and th that's just taking all the stage. You have down here to up air? Rob combos? Rob had a combo? <laughs> Wait. I mean, I, I like the fact that Dill is reacting to Di, Di, reacting to these weird hitboxes, and still managing to get effective follow-ups. She is on her game right now, and oh, you have no job, you have no life. Oh, same, honestly. I'm sorry. Just the fact that just lightly drops the gyro from the stratosphere and still gets the grab. Like, that was okay. She has to be, she has to be, you know, calm. Because that's exactly what's kind of going on right here because she's, she's three socking Carflow right now. Yeah, no, this is, this is decisive. Game one, super back and forth. You know, it actually required a comeback from Dill in order to bring it into her favor. But now this is not even, this is not even close. The sour spots of F-Tilt, not enough to actually do the deed. And that up air at that percent, not enough DI to survive it. And that's gonna be two. Oh, Dill moving on in the loser's bracket where now she has to face off against uh, Booty. Although I'm gonna be completely Ooh. honest. Yes. That might have been a little bit a fault of Carflow. Carflow did miss a lot of things. That's probably the third or second or third time that we've seen Carflow go for stuff like that. He had the right read. Unfortunately, it's just one of those yeah. situations where he misspaced multiple times. I think well the thing is that it, it was misspaced because like look at that last stock. Um if we can actually get back to the last stock for a second. Um notice here, he so after this he goes for this back air, right? Because he was expecting Dill to be over here in this range, right? Mm -hmm. But no, Dill went further and advanced way past that. Like when you look at where where this where Dill was by the time this back air came out, mm -hmm. like look at that. Nowhere near. No. Well, I mean, kind of near, but like for the most part, just not really in that zone. So yes, he was whiffing, misspacing, but it was because Dill was anticipating where he was trying to lo lock down the position. So it, like, I mean, yes, obviously Carflow could have played better, especially I feel like when it came to 50-50 mix-ups in that mm -hmm. last game, Dill was just like getting them almost oh, every time. No, I'm telling you, the crumbs, they were nowhere to be found. Sorry. <laughs> this ain't Hansel and Gretel, baby. Hansel and Gretel? She No ate trail her crumbs. <laughs> I no bread crumbs. I'm pretty Never sure Devin is still here. I didn't know she ate her brother. Did you have you isn't read? That, isn't that what the Hansel and Gretel is about? <laughs> did, did I miss something? I um, you gotta brush up on your grip. Stop hanging out with crackheads and start reading the brothers. Oh wow! Grip. 